My father used to give my brother and I food. My sisters didn't have to eat. He called it man food. It was sardines in a can. <sighs> and he said, I said, I'm not eating this. He said, it'll put hair on your chest. I'm eight years old. That a good thing? <laughs> he said, every man wants hair on his chest, boy. Really? Yeah, who knew in the 21st century all the men would be waxing all the hair off their chest? <laughs> I want to meet the first man that ripped the hair out of his chest. I really do, because I'm going to punch him right in the face. In a Christian loving way, of course. <laughs> Tammy says to me about a year ago, she goes, I want you to look into the waxing thing. That's what she said, sir. I want you to look into the waxing thing. I honored my wife. I looked into the waxing thing. Came back and told her, get used to the pelt. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Have we lost our minds as a culture? We spend billions of dollars to have somebody rip the hair out of our body by the root. That hurts. But we won't let our federal government drip water on the faces of terrorists. You know what? I think the CIA needs to open up some spas around the world. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know, Ahmed, before we send you back to the battlefield as part of the new Western Civilization Catch and Release Program, <laughs> you're in luck. The U.S. government's going to clean you up today, my man. Those 72 maidens you're dying to lay with in the next life, they don't want to lay next to a throw rug. <laughs> so get in the van, my hearse little friend. We're going to the mall. Just a thought. <laughs> so full disclosure, I got waxed. <laughs> I know. Tammy kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. She finally said the magic words. She said, I think it would be sexy on you. <laughs> Look at my wife and I have been married 33 years. Sexy is not a word often used in our home. <laughs> Our idea of sexting is we send pictures of desserts to each other on our cell phones. I'll get it back from her. Is that a six-layered carrot cake? So I don't care what it is. If my wife said to me, you know, a face tattoo would be sexy. I'm getting it done. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> There are three billion women that inhabit planet Earth. I only care if one of those women thinks I'm sexy. That's it. Her. So I made a decision when she leaves town, I was going to surprise her. I said, I'm going to get waxed. I got on the Google. I looked up the waxy people. <laughs> Found Michelle. It's Michelle. Don't make the mistake of calling her Michelle. <clears throat> Apparently, I hit a sore spot. <laughs> so, Michelle gets me all ready to go. Lathered up, got a piece of tape there. She says, you ready? I said, yeah, you know. She goes, <laughs> I've never had that happen. I tried to scream and nothing came out. I gotta figure there were dogs two blocks away going. Sounds like another man's getting a wax job. With Michelle. That hurts so bad, I'm telling you. I, I, and then she starts to put another piece of tape on me and I can't. I ended up tapping out like a wrestler. I'm packing on it. And then I found my voice and I said, no! Get away from me, you sick woman! Don't touch me. That's what I wanted to say when I couldn't say. I was gonna quit, I really was, I was gonna leave. And I looked in the mirror and I had this white strip. It looked like a name tag with no name on it. It was just, you know, and all these weeds around it. You know? 
So you locked in, I couldn't stop. Anyway, she, she just says, I can take my time. I go, don't take it, just get it over with. <laughs> she cleans me up, I look in the mirror. I was pink, sir, I was pink, I was raw pink. I look like a flabby piece of bazooka bubble gum. And all I can think of is she thinks it's sexy. Okay, no counting for taste, but I'm all in. So the next day she came home from the road, I went on a surprise her. So I went in the bathroom, put on some shorts, I took off my shirt, I'm standing there in shorts, no shirt, trying to get her to notice while we're conversing. She looks at me, she says, are you having a stroke? I said, no. She goes, what'd you do? I said, I got waxed. Ooh. That's not the reaction I was looking for. What's the ooh? She goes, oh God, put a shirt on, it's creeping me out. She goes, you look like Patrick from SpongeBob, Jeff. Come on. Patrick's not sexy. <laughs> the things you do to honor your wife, sir. <laughs> Never again. Hey everybody, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy had their own app? Everybody has an app, but not like this one. You can get it right now on your phone and watch my entire special. How cool is that?